CNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the September 27th, the magical, magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie. Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always go ahead and uh, send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And in our Tiger's Den, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to La Show. A mixed bag out here. you got the Dow up 117 points, 35, 34 at 915 is the print, while the S&P is down 11. NASDAQ's off 148. Russell's up 35 points. Semis are down 11. Trandy's up 231. New York Stock Exchange is up 77, while the Wilshire's off 61 points. you got the uh, gold is basically flat, trading at 1752, and silver's up 28 cents. Uh, that's up uh, one and a quarter percent. She's trading at 2271. Lights recruit up 27 pennies as well. 7056 is the print there. Natural gas, big move. Up 40 cents, trading out at 5.54. The 30-year Treasury is back five ticks right now. Leading the charge. Dollar-wise, the upside, you've got SVB Financial, 21 bucks. Tesla, 19. Boston Beer, Sam Adams is up 16. And Signature Bank up 13. To the downside, Mercado Libre, yikes, down 77 or 4%. Chipotle off 2.5%, 48. Amazon, 46, 1%. HubSpot down 41 there's some big shakers to the downside. I IDEX Laboratories down 37. So plenty to look at. Of course, I want to look at what you want to uh, look at. Let's begin. I uh, hope everyone had a great weekend. I uh, hope uh, for all of you golfers out there, you, how could you not enjoy it? Well, you would not enjoy it if you were European. Uh, but if you're uh, from the U.S., that was uh, just simply spectacular, uh, spectacular play for three solid days out there. Uh, and, and it was great to see teamwork. And that's what we're about here, teamwork. You and me, we're going to go try to figure out what these markets are doing. So we'd love to hear from you, 877-927-6648. In the meantime, let's take a look at the weekend to see out here. The weekend to see is the uh, NDX 100. Let's do it via the um, its TAS market profiles. Let's begin by taking a look at the daily and weekly, which I should have up on the screen here. Uh, we'll just expand this chart out. And so what do we know about the NQ? Well, what we know about the NQ is this formed a TD9 count top. And from there, price went ahead and went all the way back and tested the bottom of its weekly profile. And that's at the 14802 level. That is the area where price needed to close below on a weekly basis in order to generate a change in trend signal. Otherwise, you know what it is. It's a buy the you fill in the blank dip level. That's what it is now. That was the buy the dip level. And then on the trading session of September 22nd, these three candle sessions right here, that created the Three River Morning Star. That completed a Gartley buy pattern. And now we have price inside its daily profile. As long as price stays above 15097 we may see a run to the 15532 If price closes below 15097 we may see a run back down to the bottom of that weekly profile, 14802 Oh, great, Steve-O. You can't be more specific than that. Well, let's go take a look. It's not really me. It's just the charts out here. All I can do is I'm just relaying the information to you. Got a confirmed daily Gartley buy pattern. Let's just switch over to my eight panel charts here. Give me a moment to do that. 
And here you've got the uh, weekly, the monthly, the daily, and you've got intraday time periods for the uh, NASDAQ uh, equity future contract. So let's take a look at the daily. Let's just stick with the daily for the, for the moment. I'll expand this chart out. And here I'll even expand it a little bit more because that gets stuff. So here you can see your Three River Morning Star, also a bullish engulfing candle session. Your A to B equals CD if you if that would that created that Gartley buy pattern. Here's the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top along with a TD9 count top. So it had a little bit of everything. Now, even though we have the bullish signal that was generated by that Gartley buy pattern, what price must do is close above that green oscillator and change line in order to get to its bullish ways. That becomes resistance. We can take a look at today's price action. Price gets up there, tags it, moves all the way back down to the bottom of the daily profile. The bottom of the daily profile is not shown here, but you do see the TD9 breakout level 15076. So what it's really generating for us right now is a neutral signal. And remember, we are in a consolidation pattern across the board, all four of the equity future contracts out here, which can become difficult markets to trade from a swing standpoint, but from an intraday period, that's a whole different uh, uh, element. But what you're going to be watching for at day's end, whether it's today or it's tomorrow, tomorrow is uh, does price take out the low of this bullish pattern if it does that could signal a change in trend or does price the NQ specifically get above 15389 not get above close above that oscillator and change line but what do we know right now we know we have a valid bottom price moves higher and it's just simply testing support folks that's bullish action not bearish action but still again Price must close above this oscillator and change line. So that's the daily message out here. What's the weekly message? Well, the weekly message, this does not show. This is this chart right here. I'll expand this up. This does not show. This is a continuous contract for the NQ. This does not show the bottom of its weekly profile. But we looked at that chart together before we came over to this white background chart. So price just simply creates a Rhodes momentum indicator top. And all price is supposed to do is pull back to test support. In fact, that's what it did. It pulled back and tested support, which held. So that is somewhat bullish. Of course, in order to really get bullish here, price has to close above 15.612. That's the current reading on its oscillator and change line. The monthly chart. This has a, a TD9 count pattern that is going to go ahead and complete. I'm assuming it's going to complete by, I think, the end of the trading week is, when, uh, not week, but uh, count, uh, September is Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday out here. But price is above its oscillator and change line, 14.622. So it's really kind of a neutral signal. So you got neutral on the monthly. The uh, weekly says, hey, all the action is done at this stage here. Price got back, tested support, rejected it. You know, the idea can't bust them down. Price will try to bust them up. The bust them up doesn't get confirmed until we see a close above the daily oscillator and change line. And then we can take a look at the intraday charts out here uh, for signals. Do I see anything of significance? The only thing I see is on the two-hour chart, we had a TD9 count top. That went ahead and started price pulling back. You blew through the uh, TD9 breakdown level. It's first level, 15205. Typically, you Crew, you cruise through one, you go to the next. And in fact, that's exactly what the NQ did at 15.09025. Do I have some kind of bottoming pattern on the two hour time frame chart? I do not. On the 60 minute, we've got a TD9 count bottom. We have a TD9 count bottom on the 240. Um, I don't see anything specifically on the five hour chart. And on the 30 minute chart, uh, the 30 minute chart would say, hey, folks, price right now, what is it doing? It's taking on its oscillator and change line. So let's come back here and let's open up this chart, take a look at it. So what do we know? I couldn't really legitimately draw in an A to B equals CD to the downside. So we don't have that kind of a bottoming signal out here. Uh, what would indicate that this may have bottomed? Oh, we'll be right back and we'll talk about that as soon as we get back on the screen. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago. And the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we were taking a look at the NQ, the 30-minute time frame chart. That's what's up on our screen right now. And although we don't have any kind of bottoming pattern, uh, such as an A to B equals CD down, a TD9 count, a seventh wave move, uh, nothing. What we do have, though, is we can see that the oscillator and change line has been a resistance area. And price right now in this session, which uh, has another 12 minutes, so we can't confirm uh, at this stage here that we're going to see a breakout. But if price does close above 15,173, that at least suggests a bounce up to the top of the profile of 15,238. And if price can close above 15,238, what the signal, what even though we don't have the bottoming pattern, per se, uh, we're just taking a look at where price is fighting support and resistance areas. And so as we take a look at 15,238, if price closes above that, that would generate a signal of a move up to about the 15,377 area out there. So that's what the NQ, that's what the 30 minute time frame chart is showing us. Let's go back to a time frame that does have a valid bottoming signal. That would be the 60 minute chart. So let's go see what it's communicating to us. So on the 60 minute chart here, we can see that as price was pulling back early in the morning, that formed a TD nine count pattern. So what does this suggest to us? Well, we can see on the 60 minute, may be difficult for you to see, but I'll describe it to you. There is a profile that formed about an hour ago. It's bearish in structure. The top is at 15,238. The center is at 15,212 and the bottom is down at 15,109. So what is this telling us? Well, this tells us you have significant resistance between 15,212 and 15,238. And if price can close above 15,238, where price should run to is the 15,399 level. So where should this rally stop? If this is just some kind of counter trend move and that there's a larger trend to the downside? Well, the answer is going to be in that 15,238 or below that level out there. So that's what's going on with the NQ. And good to spend time really taking a look at what it is communicating to us since it is the, of the four equity future contracts, it is the one that is trading uh, that is the weakest out here. So we'll come. Let's, let's we'll, maybe we'll come back to the equity futures charts. I do have one, only one question at this stage, and this was is from David. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll stay on this screen here. I think I had already started this. Uh, David wrote in quite a bit earlier this morning. I think I still have it up. Yeah, uh, right here. So let me get David's question is, Hey Steve, 
Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got uh, 230 puts expiration this Friday on ticker symbol COIN. And uh, and David is from the uh, is from Panama City, and there are beautiful beaches there. That is for sure. Now, coin C O I N. Um, I don't have a ton of data, so when we take a look at monthly and weekly charts out there, not really a ton of information. But what does the daily time frame chart uh, tell us right now? So let's expand this out. And this is showing us, boy, not even a ton of data here. So I've got no bottoming signals or anything along those lines. I think what I'm going to do here for Roberto Coin. Well, first, let's just take a look at the intraday chart. Say, 15-minute chart has a bottoming signal, but price ran right in resistance 229. Uh, I don't have a bottoming signal on the 30. Nothing confirmed. Well, if, if this uh, and the 65-minute chart, if we have one tick close to the upside, you'd have a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. So you may have some intraday strength here, but on a daily basis, I'm going to switch from here. I just simply because it's not providing us with a ton of information. Let's go switch to my black background charts. It will just whoops. It'll just show up. Uh, I think, well, I don't know what will show up. Let me just simply do this. So C O I N, and it is a Coinbase Global. So the only profile that we have out here, uh, David, is the uh, daily profile. And on Friday, price closed below the bottom, 233. Today it is below that level. And uh, only bar number five on a TD9 count. So, you know, price is likely pulling back into the swing points from. Uh, July 20th and the uh, July 19th level out there. So I, I don't see more than that. I wish I had more data to really do an analysis out here. Um, but it does look like it wants to head lower out there. So thanks so much for writing in and uh, best of luck to you on that uh, trade. Uh, the Russell 2000. So we, we just spent some time taking a look at the week uh, index. Let's go take a look at the strong index. You've got uh, the Russell 2000 up 38 points. Let's expand our daily and weekly profiles, get a feel for what's going on here. Now, of course, the bigger picture inside the Russell 2000 is the consolidation pattern that is in play. We probably could uh, fix up the bottom of this uh, pattern here. It should be a little bit lower, but I'm not going to worry about that at the uh, moment. What is price doing? Well, price right now is trading inside its bearish structured profile. And that's between a range of 22.96 at the top and 22.75. So let me switch my other charts. Let me get my other charts. We'll switch panels out here and we'll get to the Russell 2000. We'll take a look at that quad series. Do I have it up? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's uh, change screens out here. You know, Mr. Bill, my wingman, is making sure that I do what I'm supposed to be doing here. Thank you for that. So now we've got our quad screens, our quad. We've got our eight-panel screen here of the Russell 2000. So where do we want to begin? Let's begin by the monthly chart, long term. What do we have? We've got the uh, TD9 count. All that did was push price back to that oscillator and change line. Therefore, its pattern is neutral to bullish. Russell 2000, we see just that sideways consolidation. You and I were looking at that on the daily time frame out there, but you can clearly see it on a weekly basis. If we take a look at the daily chart, TD9 count takes price right back to where? To its breakout level. Nothing broken there. Price is above a green oscillator and change line. That suggests that price is going to go target its highs. But we do know there's significant resistance at 2296 and then at 2307. Short-term time frame charts, Rhodes momentum indicator top on the 60. Nothing on the, well, I don't know the 30 is populated. It looks populated, but let me just uh, repopulate it and make sure. Yeah, nothing on the 30. Nothing on the 120 of confirmation or the 240 or the uh, five hour time frame chart. So actually, Russell 2000 still looks to be bullish, and that may be signaling to move up into that 2296 area. Let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How was your weekend? How are you doing today? Oh, my weekend was great. Steve, you have a half of years with. Uh... And that's one as well. It was. it was absolutely. It was. It was great and uh, good to hear you. Uh, what uh, What is it that uh, you'd like us to take a look at today? You kind of beat me to the punch. I was uh, interested in having you take a look at the IWM just because it seems to be acting fairly well. If that's indicating anything to you, I know you look at the patterns and and some of the different levels to, to be watching. But it just seems like it's there could be a little bit of a rotation happening. The Nasdaq's you know, starting to back off. Some of the big cap names are starting to have a pause, which is, you know, understandable. And and then also, if you get a chance to look at the VIX, I know it's hovering around that 50-day EMA. So those are the two things that I was hoping you could take a look at. 
Absolutely. So with regard to the Russell 2000, Brent, I would just simply first just say in the bigger picture, we try to understand the message of the markets, at least from last week's perspective, where last Monday we had that uh, significant push lower. All that really was taking place was a consolidation, was just setting up uh, the consolidation pattern that is in play out here. And those are the four rectangles that are uh, that I've got on my screen out there. And yes, I had the same thought as you did. Maybe there's just simply rotation out of the NASDAQ into the Russell. But the reality is we just have this consolidation pattern. And until price either breaks to the upside or to the downside, um, I don't know that we're going to get a ton of information released to us. But, Brett, we're just about to go to a uh, break out here. If you'd be kind enough to hold through that break, we'll come back. We'll take a look at this. We'll put the IWM charts up on the screen. Just take a look at those and then anything else that you'd like. So Steve Rhodes with Brent in Martinez, California. We'll be back in about three minutes, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend weeks or even months searching to find and right now we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month we are so confident that you're gonna love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software get your copy of the art of timing the trade charts today by visiting tfnn.com this segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. And uh, Brent wanted to take a look at the IWM, the Russell 2000 out here. And uh, so those are the charts that we have up on our screen. You've got daily, weekly, and monthly charts. Now, what Brent and I and you now know 
is that price is trading into a resistance zone. If we take a look at the daily time frame chart, those blue horizontal lines show us the profile levels. And when the center is closer in proximity to the top or the bottom, in this case here it's closer to the top, then we refer to this as a bearish structured profile. So there's significant resistance. There's sellers that reside at 226.81. There's also buyers. We'll just call that 50-50. But all the sellers are also hanging out at the 228 level. Now that's on a daily basis. Brent, the top of the weekly profile in it too is a bearish structured profile is at 233. 233.64 to be exact, and on the monthly, it's 234.53. So we know in this 235, we'll just call it, rounded up here, area, that's a significant resistance level that if price can close above, then that will turn the a, that will turn the Gartley buy pattern. And that's what formed inside the IWM. It's what formed inside the Russell 2000 equity future contract out here. You can see the A to B equals CD pattern. Now, folks, I want you to realize that uh, here is the 1 to 1 level, then the 1 to 1.272, the 1 to 1.618. This pattern did not complete or confirm until this day right here, September 22nd. That was a bullish reversal candle. That was a bull separating candle. So now you have a confirmed buy the D point, Gartley buy pattern, uh, but we know that price is trading into resistance. Hey, Brent, any questions so far about the resistance levels or, or anything else that I've, I've uh, mentioned? No, I think that's great. See, that's helpful. That, that gives us some areas. If we could get above that, that would be, of course, pretty bullish. If it stalls there, then that gives us an area, you know, on the, the downside potentially that it could find support. So that, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's take a look, folks. There are uh, excellent. Thank you for 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 that, Brent. If we take a look at uh, the just simply retracement levels, so we know that price is pulled back into the top of its bearish structure daily profile. We could also see that price at the 0.786 retracement. So on any Gartley pattern, folks, there's basically five different outcomes. The very first outcome is the 0.382 retracement. Well. Price got through that with that uh, bull separating candle and just simply proceeded to get up to the 0.618 level. That would be outcome number two before price pulled back. Now we're at outcome number three, the 0.786 area. Outcome number four is going to be getting into that 229 area. And if price can clear that swing point, and that swing point, by the way, has volume of about 22 million shares, then that could set up the outcome number five. And that would be an A to B equals CD to the upside. Is that what I'm calling? No, but what there are, folks, is there are five different outcomes for every Gartley pattern. And at this stage here, we don't have really any indication that outcome number three, the 0.786 retracement, is the end of it. Look, the A to B equals CD pattern inside the IWM, the one-to-one -one level only takes you to 233.38, which is basically getting you back to the uh, its all-time highs from back in uh, June. Of no, that wasn't. I think the all-time highs were back in May. Yeah, they were. I've got to go back here. So it's back in. Uh, so really what price would be doing is taking us back into the March, sorry, March 15th, 2021. That's its swing point high out there. So those are the patterns that I see in play right now. Uh, Brent, what we know at this moment at 133 in the afternoon is price in the Russell 2000 is traded into a resistance zone. As to any questions before I move on to the spot? Nope. No, I think that's it. Okay, so if we take a look at the spot volatility index out here, Friday price closed below the 50-day exponential moving average. And that was, um, well, the current 50-day exponential moving average is 1859, and price is traded 1845. So, Brent, if we can get a second consecutive closing below that 50-day, that's a signal that we should see the ES Mini go at least target the top of its profile. It's not substantially higher from where we're at. That's at the 4483 level. Of course, closing above that would be a bullish outcome. Uh, so the spot volatility right now, if you were to ask me what is it signaling to us, I'm not sure because it's pretty much sitting right there on the 50-day exponential moving average. We just have to wait to see what uh, what day what, what the end of the day brings to us. The only other thing that we could uh, do would be to you know take a look at the ES Mini as an example and see if there's some kind of uh, bottoming signal uh, out here on some of the short-term time frame charts. The, I only have the daily on this, this little package here. I only got the, the daily. So here, folks, we take a look at the daily. This, too, also has a uh, Gartley buy pattern. And where prices run into resistance is that oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 44.46. So, Brent and everybody that's listening, that's the level that if the ES Mini closes above, very likely the uh, spot volatilics will be below the 50-day exponential moving average. And then that says price should get to that 44.83 level and above that back to its all-time highs. If I look at the short-term time frame chart, 
The short-term time frame chart or the 30-minute chart does have a confirmed Roach momentum indicator bottom. It did that's done that a couple of different times out here. But price has been unable to take out resistance and resistance is both its oscillator and change line, but more importantly, it's at 44, 45, 75. That is the top of the current profile that price is trading in. But what we clearly know is that the uh, buyers are trying to flex their muscles. The first road to indicator signal of a bottom took place at 1230. The next one took place as we came into the 130 time slot, both with bullish engulfing candles. What hasn't taken place is a close above that oscillator and change line, but more importantly, a close above real resistance, which is 44, 45. So Brent, that's what I would be watching during the day out there. If we see a close above the 44, 45 level, then odds favor back to the daily, we get up to the 44, 83 zone. Does that create some questions? No, I really appreciate it, Steve. I'm going to actually be taking a little break from the markets for go up and do some fishing around Tahoe for uh, tomorrow and Wednesday. There's the bigger day. It's a pretty good hike. It's about a five-mile hike to the yeah. backcountry lake and you know, do a little trout fishing and relax and you know, it's going to kind of detach myself from the markets for a little while. Oh, that well, that, that sounds like a very peaceful thing to uh, do. Now, is it is it what, what kind of trout run are there? Is it rainbow trout that run there, or is it uh, something else? Yeah, well, this the one that we're hiking into. My oldest son and I, he lives up in Tahoe, so we're gonna I have an opportunity to go with him, which should be a lot of fun, and we always have a good time together. And oh, that time great. of year, you know, or like in the fall, what we're in right now is a good time. The fish start to come in, and of course, forage for the winter time. So. They're usually pretty yeah, active no, I, and, and you know, doing a fair amount of feeding, so we'll see. Yeah, and there is yeah. the rainbows. This particular lake is uh, kind of special. It has uh, cutthroat trout in it. It has uh, brook trout in it, and it has rainbow trout in it. So cutthroat trout, I've never heard of a cutthroat trout. trout. What is uh, – why, why the name, do you know? Or, or, or how it's is it different? Kind of a, it's a pretty special fish. It's only present in – I don't know if you've ever heard of Pyramid Lake. It's out in Nevada. Okay, it's, uh, I have interesting. It looks a little, little, little bit like Mono Lake. It has the uh, of piles, and it's, it's kind of a pretty stark landscape. But it's on the Indian reservation out there, and it's okay. I believe it's the uh, is it the Truckee? Yeah, I think it's the Truckee River. It's the only one that runs actually east, and so it goes. Uh, that's what okay, it flows okay. into. It, it yeah, ends yeah. up in that lake, and so it has their their Lahontan cut throat trout, and so that's kind of a. And I think they just took some of that uh, species or that variety okay. for strain of trout, and they put those into that the lake I'm going to. So there's not a lot of those around. There's very few okay. places that are, are present. Well, I, I hope you and your son catch a cutthroat as well as everything else out there. It sounds like a great time, and, uh, you know, just have a, a peaceful time. Enjoy the time with your son. I'm sure you will. And uh, we look forward to your fishing stories when you get back. We don't want to hear about the one that got away. We want to hear about the one that you hauled in. Yeah, I'll try not to exaggerate too, too much, Steve. Just have a, have a great week. I'll talk to you when I get back. Take care. Sounds great, Brent. Thanks so much for calling. Be safe out there. That was Brent from Martinez, California. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be back in just a few. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, now, folks. So we've got a picture of a, a cutthroat a trout up on our screen here. So interesting enough, this article was uh, from one year ago, October 2nd of uh, 2020. This is a, I mean, what a gigantic fish this one is. This is a 31-inch Yellowstone cutthroat uh, trout out there. So hopefully, Brent, uh, we're, we're all sending you uh, whatever kind of light it is we need to hopefully uh, we'll just stay. And look, here's a picture out there. We can just simply paste your face in there if you'd like. But now we want to catch the real thing. But that is a, that's a big trout. And if you catch that, please put that back uh, away. Just take some pictures and, and put that back, even though it'd probably be good eating. And eh, that guy gets that big, he needs to uh, hang around for a while. In any event, uh, no questions by phone, no questions by email, no questions I see inside the Tiger's Den. So let's go uh, just simply surf around. What additional information do we need to look at as far as the equity markets are concerned? Let's take a look at New York Stock Exchange having a good day. So remember, this has come from that oversold level of minus 150. That is panel number two. That's the advanced decline oscillator. That that is nothing more than the advanced decline line, but we take a look at the difference between its 39 and 19 period exponential moving average. That's what creates this line out here. When price is above the zero threshold level, right now it's at 37, that tells us that buyers are the ones that are in control of the markets. Well, we should test that theory out. Are buyers in control of the markets out here? Let's go find out. The easy way for us to go find out is let's go see what market breadth looks like. Perfect. Excellent idea, Stevo. So now let's open up our market breadth charts. Those are the ETFs and the sectors inside the S&P 500. But we're interested in just seeing what does the S&P 500 look like. And boom, voila, there you go. You're looking at the speed dials. Those are up top. You can see the weekly, the daily, the 240, and the 60. They're all set in bullish configuration. What does that mean? Well, as an example, I'll open up the chart here. And on a daily time frame, let me get rid of that middle box. So you've got your crossover. A crossover is a bullish crossover when the red line goes above the the green line goes above the red line. Bearish crossover is the exact opposite. So what we know as we speak right now is 201 instruments inside the S&P 500 are trading with inside their profiles. 177 above the top of their box, that's bullish, and 125 below the bottom of the box. And that's why we have this bullish crossover. So the preponderance of evidence right now, even though you've got the ES mini pulling back, is from a market breadth standpoint, it is market breadth bullish. Let's go take a look at the NASDAQ 100, the NQ, which is the weak link out here today. And as we take a look at it, the daily time frame, the 240, the 60, and the uh, weekly, they're all set in the red zone out here. So we've got conflicting signals. But what we do, we've already done, you and I, we've already taken apart the NQ. And those bottoming signals, such as the Gartley buy patterns, those are going to form before we typically see crossovers in these time frames. But nonetheless, this is weak. 
um, the NQ, that is, when I say this is weak. So we've got conflicting signals out here. But generally speaking, for the general markets, the message at 145 in the afternoon for the New York Stock Exchange is bullish, anticipating a continued move higher. Now, that bullishness will get a larger signal if that spot volatile index does close below 1859, currently trading to 1848. Okay, what else do we want to look at out here? Let's look at gold, silver, and the U.S. dollar index. So, gold, silver, U.S. dollar index. Let's get to the right tab, oh, Steve. Okay, so what do we know about gold? First of all, gold confirmed a Gartley buy pattern. How did it do that? It formed a A to B equals CD to the downside. Our A point out here was back at the high on September 3rd. The B point was out here on uh, September the 14th. And that also was our C point for the A to B equals CD to the downside. This makes a 1 to 1.272. And the reason why it's a confirmed Gartley buy pattern is because of the trading session on the trading day of September 20th. That, folks, was a key reversal bar. And that says that the low of that pattern, which is 1742.30, is the key level that price needs to hold. Well, that was tested last week. It was tested on Thursday. It was tested on Friday. So support is held. We can see price is trading with inside its daily profile out here. Hasn't really gotten a ton of traction, but just consolidating. But it does have a valid bottom. How about silver? Silver is going to generate the same kind of patterns today. The A to B equals CD pattern out here. Um, well, it, actually... Let's let's do this because more important than that, let me get this going on this chart. Silver, December, because uh, what I'll show you is the Rhodes Mintum indicator signal that is being confirmed today. So I'll pull over this white background chart. The reason it's being confirmed, much like when we took a look at the IWM with Brent, you now have a bullish reversal candle. A green body candle is not a bullish reversal candle, nor is a red body candle. They just tell us where price open and price closed. That's all they do. But what you and I are looking for are bullish and bearish reversal candles to confirm patterns. In this case here, we can see that silver has pushed lower, stretched and generated that Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. And now today you may get, don't know if we will at day's end, but at 1.47 in the afternoon, you now have a confirmed bottom inside of silver. Now resistance is at 23, 23 bucks. That's the top of its daily profile. Uh, but you now will have bottoming patterns inside of silver and inside of gold. Well, the U.S. dollar index generated a sell the D point. Here is its A to B equals CD pattern. So the A point inside of the U.S. dollar index, that's down here on the low of September 3rd. The B point out here is going to be the high on the trading day of September 13th. And the following day, September 14th, was the C point. We can see this made a one-to-one -one, or a little bit more than a one-to-one. -one. We knew that it was confirmed because of that bearish engulfing candle that formed on September 23rd. Now, it doesn't mean that it's bearish and it's going to get crushed or it's going to crash or anything along those lines. In fact, right now, until we get the U.S. dollar index below 93.15, the signal is somewhat neutralized. So it's really a neutral type signal out here as price just consolidates with inside the pattern. But what we do have, and this is really what I wanted to share with you to sum it up, you've got a valid Gartley buy pattern inside of gold. You've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator, or it looks like you'll have a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom inside of silver, and you have a sell the D point pattern inside of the U.S. dollar. So things should be ripe for uh, the precious metals to move higher. Of course, as I say that, I'm sure somebody's typing uh, on their computer right now, getting ready to send me an email and uh, say, well, well, what's the GDX doing? OK, so I'm going to anticipate that I'm going to front run that question out there or really just stay in the metals area. And as we take a look at the GDX, do we have a bottoming pattern? And the answer is we don't. We don't have one just yet. Now, if price were able to close above its oscillator and change line, that's at about 30, 33. Then we would get a different signal. But that's not what we have right now. So maybe everything is set up. Maybe we see something that uh, takes place tomorrow. Maybe not. But everything is set up and ripe for metals to take off to the upside, for the U.S. dollar index to move lower, um, and for the uh, GDX at least to generate some kind of a bottoming signal. So I do see we do have a question that came in. This is from David H. in Tom Ball, Texas. And he wants to take a look at Aurora Borealis, ACB, no, Aurora Cannabis out here. So let's go to our three time frame channel out here, our three time frame uh, task market profiles. ACB is the uh, ticker symbol. The stock is having a good day today and is forming a bullish engulfing on a weekly chart. Where's a good entry point? Well, the problem is 
we don't know on a weekly chart. We don't know if it's going to be a bullish reversal candle or not until Friday. But nonetheless, let's take a look at the daily time frame data. And you're right. This is a uh, nice uh, candle with some volume uh, and prices above the top of its daily profile. Excuse me, 629 is that key level. Let's pull over the daily chart out here. The daily chart shows a rose momentum indicator bottom that's being formed and confirmed for a second time. So it does look like ACB, Aurora Cannabis, does have a valid bottom. We come back from this break, let's go pull apart the short-term time frame charts and see what we can find. Steve Rhodes with TFM. We'll be right Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at uh, Aurora Cannabis. ACB is a ticker symbol for uh, David in Tombaugh, Texas. Tombaugh is um, outside of Houston, I believe. I just looked it up on the uh, map. And then uh, I think, uh, David, I've been out. I think in the 90s I played in a uh, golf tournament in the uh, Woodlands. I know I played in a golf tournament. Uh, there, 
a couple of courses uh, in that area. So a nice area for sure. But with regard to the weekly time frame, what we don't have here on a weekly time frame, yes, we, right now we have what appears to be a bull sash candle. It's only Monday. Can't confirm that until Friday. But I don't have a bottoming pattern to go with it. We don't really need that because we've got that bottoming pattern on the daily time frame. That's the Rhodes Mint Indicator signal. Now, as we look at a 15-minute chart out here, this is suggesting to us that price is going to continue to move higher because it's negated as TD9 count top. Creates a TD9 count top, price pulls back inside its bearish structured profile, find support at the uh, center of that uh, level and has taken off. But the 30 minute chart says, maybe not so fast. I know you're looking for an entry point. This is in bar number nine right now as price gets up to its TD9 breakdown level at the 641 area. So I'm going to suggest right now that you hold off on just jumping on this train. Um, bar number 10 would complete at 230. And whatever the high is at that stage, if price closes above that high, that this is a freight train moving north. Uh, and we talk about a strong moment to move to the upside. And at that stage here, because you're just coming off the bottom, I'd say now would be a time to start. Otherwise, perhaps this TD9 on the 30-minute chart amounts for something. And you see price pull back into about the 625 level. Price right now is about 643. So I hope that helps you out with regard to a bottom signal here. Uh, you definitely have spotted a nice bottom. It appears inside of the uh, pot marketplace, Aurora Cannabis being one of the holdings there. So thanks so much for writing in. And folks, stay tuned. We've got two more great hours left. Your favorite polar bear, David White. He's up next after that. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Have a magical, marvelous Monday, folks, and we'll see you tomorrow. Trading in the stock market seems important.